colours, the autumn colours coming out, it's my favourite season of the year is autumn. Guys, we're back out again. We're up in Perthshire, looking down towards Perth at the Tummel Valley and the River Tummel. So this is where we're going to head further round towards Foss, and uh, there's got a wee bit there, so out for a camp tonight. Well, that's the entrance into Clooney Dam. So we were across the river earlier on, and they uh, put the drone up, and we've got pictures of the, the actual dam itself. And the, the substation of the, or sorry, the, the power station where the, the hydro dam comes down. So it makes a change of getting both sides of the river. So this is, I mean, you can actually go down here and camp, but uh, they've put restrictions in it. Let's see if it is. You can pause that and you can have a wee look at that. The Clooney Arch, it's called. The colours are amazing at this time of the year. Stopped and I parked up for a couple of minutes. This is a wee walkway, it takes you down to the wee rapids. So, a couple of minutes it should. It's a bit slippy today, so I'm just going to watch what I'm doing. Either that or you're going to get a video with me landing my backside. But I'll bring you back when I get down to the river. The water come thundering down. It comes down over these falls here. Just as I come down, there were four kids up in the rocks here. The two tutors doing base jumping. Just see them over the top there. The pool's at the bottom. Well, that's a car hidden away, so we'll see that tomorrow again. So we're now going up the hill in the Tumble Valley, and the Tumble colours, colours are amazing. A wee bit of rain there now, but it should go off. Gives us a chance to get up to the top of the hill and maybe see some deer or hear them. So we've got to push on up this old Land Rover track for about another half hour. That's uh, the river tunnel up there where they did a bungee jing. Just see the bridge going across. We were on the river side this morning watching them jumping off. Absolute nutters. We're way up, up, uh, way up in the hills now, so in our 10 minutes or so we'll be a bit campsite. You can see the clouds starting to roll down over the hills in the open colours. Hey guys, it's about a year ago since I was up here. Last time I was up here, I thought I got muggled and uh, it wasn't, it was local people out picking mushrooms and they thought the same, they thought I was the, the gilly coming up but uh, hopefully tonight we'll be the place to ourselves. but look at the colours this is absolutely incredible I've got 30 or 40 different shades of greens, orange whatever you want so we'll follow this trail up for another 10 minutes or so and we'll get parked up so I've got a new tent to try out tonight so I've got the Nordisk Ultra 2 
So we'll give it a bash tonight. It'll be its first day uh, outing with me. I've not even taken it out of the package yet, so I'll let you see it as I do it. So come on, let's go. Lorraine's come on. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to brighten up for the afternoon, but hey ho, that's what it is. You see it coming across the valley. But got a good tarp up, so I'll get the tent up underneath, and it gives me a bit of room here for to get a wee fire later on and cook the dinner. But I'm out with a new tent tonight, it's a Nordisk. So I'm just going to get that put up and out. It's a Nordisk Ultra 2. So we'll see how we go with this. It's never been out before, this is its first venture. So here goes. There you go, there's the first bit out of his bag. So that's the Nord Disc and that's the Ultra 2 PU. So we'll get this unfolded and see what's involved with it. A wee close up of what's in the pack. So you've got the tent itself, we've got a, a footprint there, we've got a, an inner wee bag which goes in for your, your phones and your coins and things like that. We've got the, tent bag and pegs. So we'll get this built up and see how we get on. There's the poles out there, so they're all packed up. I'll get them one done now and get it built up. But I'm quite impressed with the, the pegs, they're quite heavy duty pegs. It's not a normal standard feature, it's usually just thin pegs, but uh, I'm quite impressed with them. We'll see how we got on. Quite sturdy looking and lightweight. Well that's the ultra built up now, the Nord Disc. It's quite a, a set up of the poles, the two cross poles across and then there's these ones that go out and pull the ends out. Quite a good set up, I like the idea of it. Looks very roomy and uh, that's just the inner and the base sheet so I'm going to put the outer on now and we'll, I'll give you a wee look at that one there. But it's getting dark pretty quick because the weather's really turned pretty poor like and uh, I've had to wait my time and get the tarp up first. So we get this done and uh, so tomorrow in daylight I'll give you a better look round. Well, that's the tent all set up finally and it's stopped raining so I'm taking the this chance to get the fire going. So I've got a raised fire pit here. Next big onion some field mushrooms and I've got a nice bit of steak there and I'm just going to get that all cooked up on the fire so that wood will be burning down by the time I get it prepared it'll just be a nice heat nice bit of sirloin steak there so cooking away nicely I've got some salt and pepper on it with a bit of butter and uh, we'll deal with that nicely well, that's happening on for two or three minutes each side, so it's virtually perfect. So I'm going to add the mushrooms and the onions back in, and I've actually got some boiled potatoes, so we're <laughs> living like kings at night. But already I've got a nice bit of sirloin steak there, I've got roasted potatoes, I've got onions, and I've got peeled mushrooms. So I'll season five minutes once I get tucked into this.
half past six listening to the stags rolling away in the hill. Now, time for coffee. I like these wee sashes, they're perfect. That's to get the milk and a wee bit of sugar in it, so it's easy to carry. So, a nice warm cup to start the morning. Breakfast done, a couple of sausages, and I've got a nice roll for that. So, one cup of coffee and a roll of sausage. Ah, can't beat it. Oh, this is nearly all packed up, that's about quarter to eight. It's stopped raining, so I'm going to break down camp and uh, try and get up down the road and see the, the mist lying down the valley. That was a pretty rough night. You can see the leaves on top of the tarp. Ah, it was cosy, nice and dry. I'm well impressed with the new Nordisk tent. That's a nice wee camp there last night. It poured the rain nearly all night, so I had a good tarp up and it was a good test for the new Nordisk, the Otra 2. So I, I'll do a, a better in-depth uh, review of the tent the next time I'm out, but last night was just the first trial and I'm well impressed, so I'll be using that again. So that's a night and solo night up in the hills in Persia, me, the owls and the deer. So if you enjoyed that, get a thumbs up. Leave a wee comment below if you don't mind. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do, because it helps me a lot. So, stay safe and be good. is coming down off the hill. Thankfully the car's still there where I, I had it last night. <laughs> it's got its own natural camouflage and all the leaves off the trees. <laughs>